Welcome to Larry's Lounge. Hey. And there's a Tom. I got another special guest this week. The same one I had last time. We will have different ones, but since I, we had a lot of people say, hey, I like having Tom on the Q&A, we brought you back again. Yeah, plus I'm sure it's also easier to have two people with actual banter instead of just talking monotone. Yeah, it does feel kind of weird if I talk to the camera by myself. Anyway, welcome to the lounge. Grab yourself a beverage, sit down, relax. We're going to do a little Q&A again. Probably boring your minds out by now. Um, it's so hot out. It's very hot today. It's like 94, I think. So it's it's hot. it's hot. That's anyway. Fahrenheit for all you who don't use Fahrenheit, such as Europeans. Anyway, what I wanted to say is I want to give a shout out to Gus. I can't remember the actual name of his it's dream something but he made the banner art for me on the uh, website so Gus I appreciate it have yourself a beer on me yes yeah, good channel art mm -hmm. second of all fan mail I am accepting fan mail if you want to send me something and maybe we'll do a fan mail video I'll put up the P.O. box because I can't remember it offhand it's actually my work P.O. box, so send it there. Uh, we'll put it in the description. Tom will put that because I'm useless on the computer, right? What are you laughing for? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the third thing, notice I'm looking over here at the piece of paper because somebody forgot to buy. Yeah, we don't the have a third person. With, we don't have a third person with cue cards, and yeah, you still forgot the eraser board. Yeah, I did. Anyway, so the third thing is is T-shirts, the ball and like Larry shirts. We're also going to figure out how to put the Juggy store over on the side on my page too so you guys can go there and order there so you don't have to go back to Jesse's site to, to get it. Also, if you want a special shirt like a tank top with the ball on like Larry or, or even one of Jesse's shirts or anything any or a different color, we'll custom make something. Just you know, order a shirt or send an email to my sister on there and she'll she'll hook you up because that's that's what we do so anyway uh, I've got a couple things first uh, Tom's got a couple things I do have a couple things he's got a couple things just a couple all right uh, first thing uh, with the uh, last grilling video thank you so much to everybody who sent me happy birthday wishes it was indeed a good birthday even though it was a day late and stuff but yeah thank you very much as for the yeah, uh, you got a lot of love Yes. I read all the comments. Well, not all of them, but probably a, most of them. Long strings of happy birthday, Tom. Yes. They were very nice. Yes, and I thank you. Now, uh, second thing regarding uh, my Steam name. Uh, due to the fact that uh, over the past few months, most of what I've gotten as for friend requests on that have been nothing but actually scam bots, I have made a point to not accept random friend requests. So even if I gave out my Steam name, I'm not going to know who anyone is. I just get a huge influx of uh, just random names that I don't know, and frankly, I'm just not going to accept them <laughs> as friend requests. Not because you have anything against them, it's because you just don't know who they are, right? I mean, yeah, that's... It, it's just I don't know who you are. You could be one of these potential scam bots, and I'd just rather not take the chance. Right. It's nothing However, against anybody, so I mean, it's not—he's not saying it like that. He's just saying that he's. We both are the same way, but I'm way more than you. The, the, like I'm very tentative with everything with the computer because it's all kind of freaky to me. Yeah. But it's like you just don't want to take a chance of because you know somebody could act like they're really cool or something and and say, hey Tom, give me your Steam name, come on there and give you a whole bunch of shit too, right? That is also true, and as per usual with. Games which has a lot of people on it. I am rather poor since I am terrible at economizing in any game ever. Yeah. That was the end of the thought. Oh, it was? Yeah. That was the end of his thought. But Anything anyway. Else? Uh, I will say though, for those of you who did want to play TF2 with me, uh, servers I often frequent are those in which I have attack defense servers such as Dust Bowl or Egypt, and I'm often on other payload maps. Uh, or the Stop That Tank mod, and who knows, maybe if you go there, one day you might find me. I'm not going to say who I am, but maybe I'll be there. You done? Yes, I saw you making faces. Oh. I th where did you see that? 
You brag out your peripheral vision. Tom has pretty good peripheral vision there. Um, anyway, I, I wanted to say one more thing is that it, I was tell, talking to Tom about maybe possibly doing a video of Tom teaching me some video games, like for instance, like we're gonna we're gonna hook the X, Xbox out here and maybe do a little taping for maybe the Q and A's from from here on out, maybe or maybe, something like that. Maybe of like Tom said something about Halo what, four three three the first time he'll kick my butt. I'm sure, but uh, we'll it's we won't been show... a while since I've done first-person shooters with a controller. Okay, mine might surprise you then, right? You might. Anyway, you so might. we'll get a little bit of videotape of that. We'll do it, and what I was thinking is maybe we'll rank it. Like, I'll give that a five on the uh, Larry Lounge uh, meter or something like that, or the Lounge meter, something like that. We'll do some. We'll figure out the details. And then, then, if you guys could give us like some input on suggestions on games to play. Yeah, like. All right, let's watch Granted, it play. Your suggestion may not get picked. Because we can't play every single game, but we might have to go out and buy some games. So we'll have to maybe. dip into your savings maybe. account. You what? Huh? I heard something. Anyway, you want to get busy in the Q&A? Might as well. Okay. So, question. Anyway, oh, mm. well, before you start, I just want to say... Sorry about that. I just want to say that I don't pick any questions, like, in particular order, and... If you're going to send questions, do me a favor, please send them towards the end of the week because I have a bad habit of not writing everything down until towards the end of the week. Like, probably Tuesday or Wednesday is the time to really send the questions if you really have a good question for us. And before we even start with the questions, uh, I got a lot, and I'm still getting a ton, about certain things that I told you already that I'm not going to answer. So you're just kind of wasting your time. Go ahead, Tom. I'm sorry. Okay, if I can actually get started. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, by the way. Now I'm you're just messing with me. I'm just kidding. So, question one from Eddie Sabellos. What happened to your left bicep? What happened to that? You remember what happened to it? I remember what happened. I think it's it was a story, though. It was about I don't know, four years ago? Something like that. Three, four years ago, I was playing softball. I'll try to make this as short as I possibly can. Ground ball was hit to me. I reached down. I heard this strange kind of noise. And the only way I could describe it is if you took an old pair of underwear and took the elastic and stretched it. Like it was dry rotted. Exactly. Is this my story? Well, I'm helping. All right. Anyway, when you heard that sound, that's what I heard in my arm, but I didn't feel anything. And then I got the ball and I threw it to, to first base because I play shortstop. And I was like, what is what was that? And I'm like, that didn't sound good. So then I went to bend my arm. I was like, Ugh, something was wrong. So naturally, I had to go sit down. I couldn't, I couldn't go. And, and my arm really, I couldn't move from this. I could leave it like this, fine. I just couldn't move it like this. So what I think happened is I partially tore my, my bicep tendon. Then about two weeks later, I thought I was all healed up. Went back to another softball game. And when I reached down again, then I heard that sound again, that old familiar sound. And I was like, ooh, that wasn't good. And that was excruciating. That was very painful. I remember when I went up the bat and I swung the bat and I hit a foul ball and it really hurt really bad. So the next pitch that came in, I just kind of swung with one arm. I got a base hit, by the way. That's, That's pretty, pretty impressive, isn't it? One arm. But anyway, I didn't go to the doctors. I researched it online. I found out that when, when men are over 40, that this is kind of, it's not overly common because you don't see people with one normal arm and one but it's kind of common that it happens to people over the age of 40 and if it's not your dominant arm they really don't want to do surgery on you so I was like all right I could still do everything right afterwards I didn't have pain afterwards I could do everything I still play basketball I still I can still play baseball I can still catch I can still do my nunchuck like that it doesn't bother me so the only thing is, is that had I had known, and I made this story long, didn't I? Yes, you did. Had I had known that it was going to look like this, I would have got it fixed. I didn't know that. See, at first it was still there, and like if I would make a muscle, it would go like a normal muscle. And then when I go like this, I had to kind of go like that to shake my muscle down. But I didn't know that it actually just disappears because your body just kind of absorbs it after that. So, so that's the story on that. Anyway. I also hurt my elbow playing basketball too. My dad. Which you may remember from the grilling video. Yeah. 
It's healing nicely though. Which is good. That was low. Sorry about that. Okay, so question two from Thomas Graham. What were your favorite subjects at school? He's got a pretty cool first name, doesn't he? Eh, I don't know. I think he's a nerd. <laughs> what? Yeah, I would agree with that. What was it? What was? What was? You didn't even listen to the question. No. What were your favorite subjects at school? My favorite? I'll do I my favorite. My favorite subjects. I had two of them. I had four years of art in high school because I loved to draw, and my second one was gym. Imagine that. Tom. Whereas I'm kind I of... I imagine that yours are a little bit different than mine. I'm practically the opposite. I really liked uh, science courses, and um, I was really like music, which falls under art, I guess. So. Yeah, that's kind of similar. Tom plays the piano. Well, he used to, when he used to practice. <laughs> he don't practice no more. Not only practices on the key, different kind of keyboard, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah, science, music, and... Uh, that's good, too. You don't have to keep going. Yeah, that, that's, that's, pretty, good. that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I think Remember, of. I went real long with the first question. Yeah, that, that's true. Okay, so, question three from Nolan Sinot. Sinot? I don't Sinot? know. I'm not even trying any of them. Sinot region Pokemon. What is your favorite TV show or movie? Do you want to tell them what my favorite TV show is? Ever? Seinfeld. Did you hear it? Seinfeld. That is my favorite TV show ever. He really likes Seinfeld. And what was the other one? Movie? Horror movie. I have so many favorite movies, it's really, really hard to... I mean, you got to say comedy, drama, you know, whatever, action, yeah. whatever. I, I'll, I'll throw one out real quick. Uh, and I, I think I covered them last time, but Book of Eli is another one of my favorite, or almost any Denzel Washington movie. So how about you, Tom? Which was your favorite show? Tom doesn't watch TV. I really don't. <laughs> Uh, but lately, uh, over at a friend's house, I've been watching, like, Better Call Saul and, uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I actually like Better Call Saul quite a bit. Like, there's a few series like Breaking Bad that I, <laughs> unfortunately, am not caught up in at all. Like, I saw the first episode, and it was only a few months ago, and then I just stopped, and I need to watch that badly. And movie? Do you have a movie? Uh, as for movie, I don't really watch very many movies either, but as for recent movies that I have seen recently, I should say... That I do really like. I'd have to say uh, the latter two thirds of the Dark Knight trilogy. One more thing. Me and Tom both like Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yes, Whose Line Is So we do watch episode. them when there's new episodes coming out. We do watch them. So. Yes. So, question four from Courtney Heverington. Yeah, good luck with that one. I think I, just took, I think I just took this question for the name. Would you ever get another pet? If so, what kind? You mean if. Garfunkel died? Or just the second or pet. Or if we had Garfunkel burgers? We already disclaimed that that wasn't actually Garfunkel. I know, but people were saying that maybe you taped that before the actual burgers. You should That's go grab her and bring her out, but we're not going to do that. Um, would I get another pet? I don't know, because I was never a cat fan to begin with. I took her in, and she's like my perfect cat because she don't do nothing. I would not be able to stand for a cat to jump up on my kitchen counters. One stand for it. Hair, round food, no, 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 no. no. Um, I would get a dog in a heartbeat. Um, I haven't, and maybe someday I will, because I always have been a dog person. I used to have a St. Bernard when I was younger, and he was like my best friend. But I don't know that any dog could ever compare to him. Hey. Tom doesn't really care, because he's got a couple of years, and he's out of here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, if I did have a choice in it, honestly, I've been more of a cat person than a dog person. I've... That's because that's the only pet that we've had since you've been... Well, no, I mean, like, around dogs, I'm not the same. Like, smaller dogs are one thing. Bigger dogs, I get a little bit more if towards. Yeah, but if they were yours from when you were raising them from small, you'd be fine around them, so... All right, next question. That is probably true. Okay, so, question f five, even though you wrote it as one, uh, from Landon Rambo. Oh, it's a two-part question, isn't it? Is it? It is. Yes. So... What's his name? Uh, Landon Rambo. Cool name. I like it. If there's one piece of advice that you'll learn in your younger years, that that youngsters or that the young people, I don't know, need to understand, what is it? You just wrote that younger need to understand. 
I guess you met that younger people. I don't know, because I, I couldn't even hardly understand a word you just said. You if there's one piece of, of advice you did a lot of you, Thomas in that one. I'm trying to restate the question. If there's one piece of advice that you learned in your younger years that younger like people would need to people, understand, what is it? That life changes when you get older. I mean, everything is like such a big deal when you're young. Every little thing. And really, if you could just take a step back, and, and that's one of the things I think I tried to always, that I was telling Jesse when he was over here, is that you need to just step back from the situation that you're going through and really evaluate, not overreact towards it. I think when we're young, we, we overreact towards every single thing because everything is such a big deal to you. And I, and I remember very well being a youngster. I had a lot of anger issues and different stuff. So just take a step back and just, you know, try to try to think about things before you react to it. I think that's pretty good advice for younger people. Yeah. All right, what's the... And part two, how have you seen generations change over the years? I, you know, it's funny because I, I told you guys before that I did Bible study with, with young guys. So I've been around young people all the time. So... Have they changed? I don't think as much as we make it out to be that they've really changed that much. I think we've changed with our technology and different stuff like that, but I think everybody's still going through the same stuff that we've always went through. Like, I think I, I, I went through the same stuff that you're going through right now at your age. You know, it's just a lot of different things are thrown into the environment, you know, and that will affect things differently. Like, you're, this, this generation is so technology smart. It's ridiculous. Like, I have trouble programming my clock in my vehicle. And your generation can sit there and go, eh, what the hell's your problem? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, and that's how it is. I, th I only see that as a difference. I mean, I, th I think that all generations are, are got that kind of a thing going, but realistically, the same kind of problems we all go through. Yep. Go ahead. Okay, and uh, the last question... From Jaden Harvey. Is it me or does Tom look like Shaggy from Scooby Doo? Um, I think that's because I've been Bra really lazy on shaving Braggy? and because my arms are sticks. Braggy? Like, wow, Tom. I, I really don't see it. They think you look like Shaggy, man. <laughs> yes, apparently. And again, I think it's just because I am, because I've been lazy on shaving, which. I'm it's shave it's summertime. This is Tom in the summer. He's just like. There's no college going on right now. I don't care. He's it's a thing. He, he's chillaxing. You don't really care right now, do you? Don't say chillaxing. He, why, it's not cool anymore? No. Yeah, I'm a square. Anyway. Squares aren't domed. I went like this. You went like this. Anyway. He this does, happens. He, it is summertime, and he does need a haircut, if I say so myself. If you mean a shave, yeah, it's an actual haircut. I just got my haircut a couple of months ago. I don't need another haircut yet. All right. Anyway, that's it? That's all the questions? Yep, that's it. Sweet. All right, well, this has probably been a lot longer than what we thought it was going to be. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. Just to let you know, we're up to, like, 231,000. I should have said this, like, throughout the whole thing. I should have had, like, a little sign. <laughs> but then I get so much shit from some people about... See, the thing is that we do that because it's funny when the people who do copy us have to cut it out. Yeah, isn't it hilarious? Because they have to cut out that we have 230,000, right. or, yeah, 230,000 plus subscribers. Hey, should we scroll on the bottom? I think we should only do that once. Once in a while, sorry. Only once. Tell me what you guys think, because if the majority of people say, hey, it doesn't bother me, on the question and answer one, I would love to scroll it right there, because I noticed that he didn't even put that one up. Oh, he didn't? No. I don't pay attention <laughs> No, that video, I don't think so. Not the one that I don't like. The one that's got the, got the most amount that took, took uh, donations from people. So anyway, uh, 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 we're going off into a whole different yes, subject are, here. Yes, I didn't want are. to go there. Anyway, it's been a pleasure having everybody here until next week. Right? Sometime. Maybe next more? Yeah. We'll be sitting here at the lounge. I think you guys should just grab yourself something to drink, sit back, relax, and have a good day or weekend, or whatever.